All right, grandparents are supposed to spoil their grandkids, right? But what happens when grandma and nana are locked in a battle for favorite? Well, I know what I would do. I reach out to Dear Snarky for some help. All right, and welcome uh, Sherry Keel to the show. Of course, Snarky in the Suburbs is, is back here in the house. Good to always have you here. Thank you. Um, now, last week's letter, that one almost took the cake for the yeah, craziest, that, yeah, that most was... insane behavior of just yeah. about anybody. I've, just real quick, it was about a gal who wanted people to go on like the keto diet it was before a bride her who wanted all her bridesmaids to go on it. Not just go on the diet, but then track them via an app yeah. <laughs> that they were following the diet. So is this one, as, as in tradition, I haven't gone ahead to read it because I want okay. my, my, my reaction to be genuine. Uh, are we same level crazy? No, or this, this a one's bit a lot more mellow. I think this one is, could be one that more people... Yes, more people will definitely relate to Relate this. to, definitely. Yes. So let's, let's get going okay, with it. Okay, here is the letter. Dear Snarky, my mom and mother-in-law are driving me crazy. They're both very competitive and my kids are always in the middle of their tug of wars as they try to one-up each other. For example, they both just had to buy my daughter's first day of school outfits when I'd already told both of them that my girls had picked out their own <laughs> clothes. I then had to send separate photos with my daughters <laughs> in the outfits that each grandma bought pretending that that is what they wore to school. I knew I finally had to do something when my oldest daughter told her little sister we had to take all these pictures because <laughs> mommy lies to grandma and nana. Yeah, not cool. How do I put a stop to each grandmother wanting to be my kid's favorite? Because juggling all this is setting a bad example for my girls. Signed, exhausted. Oh my goodness, I can only imagine how that gets exhausting because then, oh, I bet you, because like, Parents these days, you got to put all your you first all, yeah, pictures all on stuff. Facebook for for first day back to school and everything. And if they're if you got one picture to them and they see I that you person, said that in, they wore my outfit. Oh yeah, it was a super long letter that I had to edit. I mean, it was all <laughs> these things about this grandmother did this and that one did this, but I had to edit it. I was just like, that's a lot. Well, my mom and mother in law are angels, and I would never have to deal with any type of situation like this. So I would like to be interested in your response. Okay, here is my response. <laughs> It might surprise you. Dear Exhausted, you're not going to like this answer because the problem isn't the grandmothers, it's you. Uh -oh. You should have shut this down a long time ago, like when your firstborn was an infant. The fact that you have enabled them and let this continue and escalate for years, it's not cool, and it's going to make stopping it even harder. I would begin by having a frank talk with your mother and telling her that all this competitive nonsense has to stop and that it's having an adverse effect on her granddaughters. I would also include the very important fact that your own daughter called you a liar. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is your mother-in-law, and I would include your husband in that conversation for backup. Emphasize how the competitiveness is hurting her precious granddaughters and has the potential for harming the relationship he has with them. Of course. For any real change to happen, you young lady are going to have to put on your big girl britches and stand up to your mother and mother-in-law by having a zero tolerance policy for their competitive foolishness. And if you feel yourself wavering, just remember what your daughter called you. Wow. You don't want to be called a liar. No, you don't, especially by your kids. But you have to kids. shut it down. You can't wait till like your oldest is eight years old and then go, oh my gosh, I need to do something. I feel like there's probably a lot of people that are in similar situations. Maybe not exactly the same scope, but I think this is a problem that many people deal with. And you're exactly right. Bringing it, bringing the family together, having that conversation, get on the same page, and don't be crazy. I have a question for you. Uh -oh. Do you think that the kids are naturally closer to their mother's mom? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. That's I might put that on Facebook. Because that might because be... my kids like my mom better. <laughs> oh yeah. But 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 they're around like because you're the mom and you're around your own mom more, so they're around that well, mom we, more. I think there's just a different yeah, type there's of, a, of yeah. like because you know my my mom lives in town, so the kids see them a lot more than my mother-in-law. But when my mother-in-law comes to town, it's just that more excited to see them because they're here. Yeah, so the grandmother it's dynamic a, is it's very a interesting. Different dynamic. You're right, exactly. But uh, thanks, Sherry, for being Thank here. You. We appreciate it. Starkey in the suburbs, bringing you that twenty. 21st century advice with an attitude. You saw some of it there. Uh, read the books, follow the blog, and message Sherry on Facebook. We have a link to everything snarky on our website.